This is an issue that's been going on for some time. You know, first I, I will say yes, we have had, uh, since we had one outbreak uh, early on, um, as you will recall in a nursery um, in the interior, we have put up all of the temporary foreign workers who've come in um, into hotels uh, in the lower mainland um, and made sure that they had what they need so they could successfully quarantine. Um, and that has um, kept us in good stead. A number of the cases that we've had in the last few months, I think we're up to 28 people who have come in from the temporary foreign worker group um, who have tested positive for COVID-19 while in quarantine. So, you know, those are potential outbreaks that could have happened on farms. Even the best of farms, the accommodation could be challenging to, to keep people um, safely uh, quarantined. So uh, it has been very effective for us and I think it's a very important piece of how we have managed this, both to support the workers so that they um, get the care that they need, but also to protect our communities. Um, and I know they announced uh, the uh, creation of, of camping areas, and this is an ongoing issue with uh, domestic farm workers who come in often from Quebec in the summers, uh, mostly in the Okanagan, and often to pick fruit and places like that. Um, so I understand that there's been agreements to have them um, to uh, enable them to use some of the campsites in those areas, and that they have appropriate hygiene and other things in place. So this whole uh, situation certificate is making sure that everybody is aware of what they need to do and of course we you know we don't stop anybody coming in unless they're coming from a, a direct outbreak themselves we want them to self monitor we want them to be aware so i think this is a very important step to help support um, those needed workers here in the province this summer um, and i hope it will be effective as well